everybody. The question today is, should I have goals? And this is a really important question, and, and I'm so glad to be getting this question. I talk a little bit about it in my book, Meaning Fulfilled, and as a result, I get this question back from people. Should I have goals at all? Because here's the deal. I, I mean, on a, on a fundamental level, it seems really healthy to be looking forward to the future, to want to improve yourself, to want to better your situation and all that. And on that level, yeah, that's beautiful. But on the other hand, think about it for a minute. Do you have a five-year plan? Well, wait a minute. Do you know who you're going to be in five years? Let me ask it this way. Do you want your life right now to be determined by the kind of person you were five years ago? Think about it. You've done a lot of learning and growing. You've had some weird relationships and weird situations, and you've learned the easy way and the hard way that some of those things that you thought you wanted aren't really healthy at all. Think about it with me. Do you remember when you were a little kid and there was some big Christmas present that you just had to have that was going to make your life complete? Maybe you got that present, but I bet you don't even know where it is now. Mm, things change. The old version of you isn't really good at determining the future version of you for the simple reason that you're not there yet. And when you know that, and you also put into context the idea that, you know what, I don't need any more of me out in the universe. I think that there's some self-help stuff that's a little bit damaging. It looks healthy, but it can be a little bit damaging. What if the whole goal is for me to get better at imposing my will and my ego on the world? Well, man, a lot of quote-unquote self-actualized people who are really good at getting their way are exactly the people that are making things really bad for a lot of other people, for the environment, for the world. We don't need any more of that. Your job is not to impart your will on the world because what do you know? And what do I know? What does anybody know? Instead, our job is to get really good at listening, at surfing this because you know what? The universe takes care of its own all by itself really well. If we get in tune with that, things work better. In a relationship, are you really supposed to just impart your will on the other person? Or are you supposed to learn how to listen and share and compromise and realize that love is bigger than both of you, for example? As it turns out, everything works that way. So, should you have goals? You should not have goals if your goal is to somehow magically predict the future with your five-year plan. If your goal is to somehow impart your will upon the world, that's really not healthy. And if you're reading some self-help book that's going to teach you how to whip the world into shape, you need to quit it because you're irritating everybody around you and you're making the world not a better place, but a worse one. What if your goal is something simpler like, may I be better at listening. May I be truer to what's in my heart. May I be open and receptive to the idea that without me forcing it, life tends to work pretty well. Should you set goals? Yes. Let those goals have to do with opening up more, stepping out of your comfort zone even more, compromising and learning and growing, opening up instead of shutting down and locking down. Have goals that involve you growing, that involve you embracing the unknown. What are some examples of that? Well, I'm going to learn some new things. I'm going to be brave. What does bravery look like to you? Right now, not five years from now. That can tell you a lot. Find ways to open up instead of shutting down. Find ways to stop imposing your ego on the world because that doesn't make you a success. It makes you irritating. Think about it. Every movie you ever saw, the villains are the ones who are trying to impose their will and the heroes are the ones that stand up for freedom. What will you do? Well, I know one thing you're going to do. You're going to keep sending in these questions because the ones that I get are fabulous. Keep them coming. You know how to get a hold of me by going to my website, waypastok.com, or by tweeting or Instagramming with the hashtag AskDieter. As always, I'll be watching. If you want to help support what we're doing with, with getting these videos out and all the other things that I'm doing, come check out waypastok.com. Subscribe to my newsletter. It's really good. And please like and subscribe and share, 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 share these movies. It means a lot. You got this.